Well you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see you again. And today I'm gonna do a new Q&A video and I wanna answer one of the most popular questions that I received these days. Let's get started. I have my questions here and I chose 10 questions. You guys, I just wanted to warn you that I love to talk a lot. If you like to listen to me, you can just, you know, get some water. Today I got some mineral water. The first question is, where do you live right now and do you think you will live there forever or go back to your hometown? Well, you guys, I've been living in Seoul, South Korea for more than a year now. Maybe some of you guys remember that I signed the contract with a Korean entertainment company as an artist and I came here to make some like serious moments. Um, I am currently working on my own brand. We've been working on it for maybe like three years for sure. I came to Korea for the first time, I think five years ago, but this is the first time that I stayed here for such a long time. I'm actually living in Korea right now. Why Korea? Why not any other country? When I was a teenager, I was really into Korean beauty. I was really into like Korean music, Korean fashion, also all this like entertainment field. When I received an offer from my future company to work together, I was like, oh my God, why not? This is such an amazing opportunity for me. I love where I am right now. I feel comfortable, I feel good. That's why I am exactly here. And also, am I going to stay here forever? Or am I going to go back to my hometown? Guys, um, excuse me. In my life, I don't like to talk about anything like global in advance because it doesn't make any sense for me. I prefer to not make a plan for my future. And these days I live with this principle. Is it tasty or is it not tasty? And I apply this principle to everything around me and we are not talking about food right now. So as long as it tastes good, as long as I truly enjoy what I do, I just do it from the bottom of my heart and I'm trying to develop in it and I'm trying to just be grateful for what I have at the moment. So I have no idea how can I answer if I'm gonna spend the rest of my days in this country or that country. I cannot answer this question in advance. I just let my life to lead me in the right direction. So yeah, it is something like this. I just wanna say just enjoy here and now. Okay. Do you feel lonely living abroad and do you miss your family and friends? Of course. Of course, sometimes I really... Not sometimes, like most of the time, of course, I miss my family. This is a part of me. I am the part of them. I miss them every single time, every single minute. Yeah, for sure. I was used to living with my parents. I was used to being in a comfortable place, a safe place. And honestly, you guys, I was going through a pretty tough like mental state, my mental condition was very bad because I just wanted to evolve, I just wanted to get out of my comfort zone but at the same time I really wanted to see my family and I really wanted to be with them so it's a very bonding feeling but I chose this path and I changed a lot during that time and I keep exploring myself, I keep working on myself like not only mentally but also physically I'm just going for what I want to achieve. But my family has been and will continue to be my strongest love and my strongest support. What's your weight and what diet do you use these days? Well, you guys, when I lived in my hometown, my weight was between 48, 49. Sometimes it was even 47. And actually, I was underweight and I often felt super weak. I couldn't even do my workout normally, you know, without feeling like I'm gonna faint. But when I started to live in Korea, because of the new food, water, environment, of the stress that I had at the moment, I gained seven kilograms, if not 
more i think yeah i gained about seven kilograms but then i was able to get back to my healthy weight and right now my weight is 50 51 kilograms i am in my healthy weight i look healthier i don't feel weak i look i don't know even more beautiful i would say because like i love my body proportions right now my body became more feminine i would say i i kind of love it and i don't use any specific diet these days all the diets that i tried ended with my mental breakdowns and made the situation even worse hell nah i never even like want to try any diets again except for like um this thing that i'm using for two years or maybe even more i'm using intermittent fasting 16 8 with the help of intermittent fasting i can maintain my healthy weight and not gain any like extra weight this is probably the best method for me which is also healthy and you guys most of the time just ask yourself if you're really hungry right now or if it's just your emotional hunger because it's really like a different thing you know and when i started listening to my body when i started truly like listening to myself i realized that most of the time when i ate some snacks some like junk food it was just because i was bored at the time or i was feeling sad you know so i wanted to eat something to improve my mood which is not a good thing and i'm trying to keep some kind of um, like discipline with food i try not to eat too much sugar greasy food like pastries and stuff like that but at the same time i'm trying not to restrict myself so much and you can often see on my instagram that I can eat some cake or hot dog, pizza, burger, whatever, just because I really want it. Usually it looks like that. During the weekdays, I eat healthy food. I love to eat some greens, I love to eat um, meat, I love to eat some soups, you know, something like super simple, but healthy and nutritious. And when it's um, weekend, I love to go to my favorite cafes with my friends and we eat wherever we want. <laughs> when I go to some coffee shop, I love to go to a good one. When I want to eat some cake, I want to eat a good cake. Not some cheap and artificial this cake from some like convenience store, you know? Don't restrict yourself too much, but don't forget to like give your body what it needs. Don't forget to take care of your body. And if you want to eat something like super delicious, try to choose something good, like good quality burger, chocolate, you know. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, cheers. Mmm. I love it. I also love oh, water with um, lemon. Oh my god, the next question is super popular. Do you have a boyfriend and what's your ideal type? And when do you think is the best time to start a relationship? <laughs> I get this question all the time and for some reason people don't believe me when I tell them that I don't have a boyfriend. And now I don't have a boyfriend either. Well, you guys, it is probably my choice at the moment because I am too busy with like my working career with creating brand. I am actually busy working on my mental health. I mean, I don't have any mental problems, but this is just super mega interesting. Let me think, how can I say it right? my value in the relation to myself has grown that i don't even have the slightest desire to communicate with people who are not worth communicating with me especially i don't want to communicate with people who are trying to have a negative impact on me like bro are you serious right now bro? i don't care if i don't have a boyfriend it it doesn't matter for me i am totally thousand percent fine on my own and especially you guys if i want to have a healthy relationship if i want to build my family in the future i have to take care of myself 
first and I just want to enjoy how great I am and I want to give myself all the love and respect and attention so that I won't seek it from anybody else you know guys many people they get into relationships just because their lack of love and attention I don't know they seek they seek that attention they seek that love and they are trying to get it from their partner which is not the best thing I would say because in the end they both feel bad traumatized you know it's not good you will have a boyfriend or a girlfriend anyway i mean if you really want it but during this time just enjoy this time alone because you have this amazing time to work on yourself to achieve your goals to like change for the better why not to take this time you can do amazing things alone too don't be sad also if you don't have a boyfriend it is fine it means that you just need this time so take this time please and you will attract someone who has like the same energy the same philosophy as you have let's say if you like to suffer and you just need a partner to feel better then you will meet such people who will only make you feel bad so during this time just try to give yourself everything that you want everything that you would like to see in another person for example the next question is how do you deal with your anxiety do you have mental breakdowns sometimes and what helps you learn about yourself and develop as a person it's a never-ending work on myself well, guys, as i said before i have sessions with uh, my therapist and it helped me a lot to like explore myself and also it helped me to know how can i deal with anxiety and all these bad feelings <laughs> this wall is actually all the quotes about anxiety about past future you know that inspired me i love them so much and one of them let me read it for you <laughs> what can i do nothing just go back to bed and this one no amount of anxiety makes any difference to anything that is going to happen how do i deal with anxiety sessions with a therapist i would really like you to start your therapy if you feel bad also work on myself i have these methods from my therapist for example when i feel anxiety when i feel super bad like how can you deal with them how can you calm down what helps me a lot is that i'm trying to focus on my work i'm trying to walk like ride a bike breathe meditate meditations are really super helpful and also i have these notes where i write down all the things for which i'm super grateful my goals my dreams so it helps me to not only focus about something bad but also think about good things because we usually forget how blessed we are with this life and i just try to focus on something positive focus on how happy how blessed i am and what helps me learn about myself and develop as a person is that i started sessions with my therapist and i also met some people who taught me some lessons of course it's all about your experience about the people you met situations you had even if someone hurt you just accept it learn from it move on from every situation every person try to learn something from it and you will grow as a person you will be better and you have to have this desire first of all to work on yourself and change for the best do you have many friends i prefer to be alone than to be with anyone just with any person just because I'm bored or I want to have fun or I don't know why I want to have some attention in my life it happens unexpectedly I just meet right people not always but most of the time I'm very grateful that I just meet good people because like you know I don't chase I attract mm -hmm. guys I don't have many friends but as soon as I meet a new person I try to stick with them and exchange these positive emotions like positive and good energy so this is the best for me i prefer to focus and i prefer to waste my time and my energy on good people and 
it's better not to waste your time and your energy on other people just trying to be good for everyone blah 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 i don't care you know this sneaky and cheap mentality i cannot understand and i don't really want to understand so i prefer to be on like alone than to hang out with such people quality is important for me not quantity i will never give positive energy to those who neglect it well the next question is how is your korean going yeah you guys i am learning korean right now and 선생님이랑 같이 한국어를 공부하고 있어요 힘들지만 관심이 너무 많아서 더 배우고 싶어요 uh, it's getting darker let's finish soon if not modeling then what else well you guys when i was a teenager i sold my pictures on different online services and also i sold my like drawings to my parents or uh, friends later i kind of like opened my own service it was on instagram of course where people could find a photographer or like videographer for their wedding because i was working as a photographer at the time so i was really into it and i always had this desire to start my own like business i always tried something different i tried to help my grandmother with her business i ran from like one store to the other store then i worked with my friend i gave this like you know advertisement like paper the stuff to different people at some festivals then i started working as a photographer then i opened this kind of service because i wanted to help my family and after that i started earning popularity on instagram i started earning followers and of course i got some free job but first i didn't earn any money I didn't earn anything most of the time people they just like to send you free products and they wanted you to like advertise it i was quite happy because i could get some free stuff but still i wanted to get more i wanted to work more i wanted to like earn real money i was lucky that i could start working as an influencer if not model I could still do my YouTube channel because I always wanted to film videos and actually I wanted to be a film director so I think if not modeling then I would be a photographer I would open my own company I would work as a film director drawing from my last Q&A maybe you remember that or not I never thought that I would work as a model as an influencer so before that of course I thought about some other stuff but I'm just happy what I, uh, what I have right now and you guys will see more beautiful things coming especially in my cosmetic brand this is like this is like something really special for me and I hope that you will see you'll feel that very soon you guys and the last question you guys I saved it for dessert have you ever had plastic surgery you guys I haven't had any plastic surgery but I don't think that there is something wrong with that. I mean, I'm not against plastic surgery. I think plastic surgery is cool. It can help people to feel better, feel confident. So can we just let people do what they want to do with their bodies? And actually, that was very funny because some of my followers, they sent me that video from YouTube. Some YouTube channel made a video about me that I done like two surgeries on my nose and my eyes, but I was like, oh my god i didn't know how to feel like do i need to feel like mm, thanks am i this like good looking that people think that um that i changed something in my face or what that was a very weird feeling but no i still my eyes i still have the skin it all depends on the angle and if my eyes are relaxed you still can see the skin and my nose i don't know my nostrils are different no my nose is from my father and when i grew up it changed a little bit because my face got slimmer and it looks different and i look really different from what i looked like when i was 14 years old 
for example i was super insecure i hated to take pictures of myself when my parents wanted to take a picture of me i was always like i feel so bad for that dasha right now poor baby why guys please never say bad things about yourself never say bad things about your face about your body you're beautiful just the way you are well what helped me is that i grew up i started learning more about this beauty industry about myself of course how can you not change when you are taking care of yourself i mean and also you guys um i just want to say that Many people thought that I had plastic surgery because my face changed a little bit, maybe not even a little bit. I didn't want to talk about that uh, weight uh, situation, you know, that I gained so much weight. But I already said that I gained 7 or even more kilograms and my face was like... My face was super swollen. I looked so different that I couldn't even recognize myself and by the time my mental condition was very bad I didn't even feel that beautiful very often I don't think that I liked myself that much during that time but then I lost weight I'm keeping healthy diet I'm exercising almost every day trying to stay active trying to work on myself trying to be happy every day and that's why I look happier and I look better. It's not a bad thing to change yourself if you really want to. If it really is something that will make you feel happier, just do it. Don't listen to anyone. But also don't forget to love you from the inside. It's important if you're working on how you look outside and also when you're working with your mental health, with how you feel, how you see yourself, how you see this world, you'll be the most amazing person in this world just for yourself you don't need to be the best for everyone be the best for yourself enjoy enjoy this life enjoy yourself and you guys give this video a like if you would like to see part two of this q a video if you would like me to make more more videos where we're just sitting here in this cozy room and talking just let me know okay please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to leave a comment your comments are very important for me i can receive this positive and good energy from you guys and it can help me to work better on my videos because i see how happy you are with my videos thank you so much for watching this q a let me know if you like this or not. Let me hear your opinion in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't forget to take a walk. Because it's improving your mood. I just wanted to say some random thing. Love you.